Hey, it's Andre, and today I'm going to see if I can take a song from Epidemic Sound. The song is Summer City by Chasing Madison. Play the three chords in the song on my guitar into five different microphones, see how they sound in the out-of-the-box conditions, and then put them back into the original song to see, with no editing, if they fit. Before we start, I can say that I'll be very surprised if any of these microphones used are close in quality to the studio produced edit of this song, but just how close or far away can we get? The five microphones I'll be testing in this video are the Fifine K658 Dynamic RGB USB Cardioid Microphone, the Fifine T669 USB Condenser Studio Microphone, the Blue Yeti USB Microphone, and also the microphones from the iPhone 13 Pro, and the Sony ZV E10. Check out my full reviews on the first three microphones in this comparison after this video. So for the three microphones, I'll be recording the audio straight from the microphone into the program Audacity, exporting the audio file as an MP3 file, and then putting them straight into DaVinci Resolve when I'm editing this video. Let's get over to the comparison. are still hurting from playing that song so many times. Ignoring the sound of the strumming and any key errors at times, I feel like there was a distinct difference between the three different types of microphones in this test. The USB microphones, the phone microphone and the camera microphone. And this is coming from a non-audio file. The worst microphone for me was the camera microphone from the Sony ZV-10. It just sounded too tinny compared to the others. The microphone on the iPhone 13 Pro sounded the best. The output seemed more vibrant and wholesome while the sounds from the USB microphones were good, but definitely felt and sounded like with a bit of audio editing they would sound a lot better. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the audio quality of each microphone and certainly not my guitars playing. So what I've learned about this comparison of straight out of the box conditions for microphones is that no, you can't get studio level quality from them straight out of the box, but were we expecting anything other than that? 
But while having a dedicated microphone is good and probably in the best, the long-term option with the customization that they give you editing wise. But if you're a beginner or a novice just wanting to record yourself playing or making music to put out there, then you can't go wrong with that all-rounder, that ever dependable piece of tech that is your phone. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and subscribe button as well to get more videos like this and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one.